So this is really speaking to the types of happiness that we all wish for. This is really in our heart of hearts. We have a good day when we are happy. And we want to be happy every day. There's never a day when we don't want to be happy. But whether or not we have good days or bad days really depends upon how we answered the second question. Do you remember the second question? What was the second question? Why? Why? Why am I having a good day? Why am I having a bad day? So one thing that my teacher says, his name is Geshe Kelsang Gyatso, and he says that much of the time our mind is like a balloon in the wind, blown here and there by external circumstances. Do you know that feeling? He says when things are going well, when they're going our way, we feel happy. But then if something goes wrong, for example, he says if we're forced to work with a colleague that we dislike. But I'm sure none of you have colleagues you dislike, right? <laughs> he says when things are going well, when they're going our way, we feel happy. But then if something goes wrong, for example, he says, if we're forced to work with a colleague that we dislike. But I'm sure none of you have colleagues you dislike, right? <laughs> he says, if we're forced to work with someone we dislike or if something doesn't go our way, then our happy feeling disappears. So as long as our answer to the question, why am I having a good day or why am I having a bad day? Because, you know, this is a question people ask us, like maybe when you get home today, someone will go, well, so how was that TED thing? Did you have a good day? And we'll say, yeah, yeah, I did. There was this lady and she talked to us about how we need to be about compassionate towards former inmates and there was this performer who did this awesome beatboxing thing with his mouth and, you know, this person and that person. As long as our reasons for why we had a good day are a list of external conditions, then we're not going to have the stable happiness that we all want. Does that make sense to you? Because if that's what our happiness depends upon, because we cannot control people and circumstances every single day, then our happiness will be in the hands of others, won't it? It'll be at the whim of our circumstances. So if you really wish to have a good day every day, we've got two things we need to do. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to stop mm, outsourcing our happiness and outsourcing our unhappiness on the people and circumstances. In other words, we need to stop attributing our happiness to what's going on externally and we need to stop blaming others especially blaming others for our unhappiness so for as long as we do that as long as we're making it the job of people and circumstances to make us happy 
or as long as we're making it their fault when we're unhappy, our happiness will be very unstable and elusive. Our second job is to actively cultivate a source of peace and a source of happiness coming from inside our own mind. So here's something I want you to commit to memory. Are you ready? This is another line um, from one of my teacher's books where he says, happiness and unhappiness are states of mind. And therefore, their real causes cannot be found outside the mind. So if we have a peaceful state of mind, we will be happy regardless of people and circumstances. If our mind is unpeaceful or agitated, then even if we have very good circumstances, we'll find it impossible to be happy. So in other words, it's not what is happening that is making us happy or unhappy. It is how we are responding to those things that determines whether we are happy or unhappy. It is what our state of mind is like that determines our happiness or our unhappiness. So how are we going to do this? So we can all understand this, like intellectually, it's not rocket science, is it? It's not hard to understand. And maybe to a certain extent, um, as I tell you these things, you're like, ah, yeah, I knew that already. I knew that already. How do we actually do it? How do we actually cultivate this stable peace of mind that we can rely upon regardless of the external circumstances? So this is really where meditation comes into play. 